our gas stack oven and we made a few thousand baked goods. If you were to look up the definition of the word altruism in the dictionary, you're probably going to get some definition about, you know, selfless service and, or something of that sort. But today, folks, I'm going to show you the very definition of altruism. And here we are in the middle of Asheville, um, Sunday morning, and usually this place is teeming with every activity imaginable. I mean, there's something going on every single place you can imagine. And today it isn't. And there's power up that way, there's debris everywhere, homeless all over the doggone place. And uh, despite the hardship and all the things that are going on, let's go talk to some people that are doing unbelievable work right now. Everybody home? Well, 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 good to see you. Good to see you guys too. How are you doing? Good, good. How's everything around here? You know, um, it changes by the day. We're just trying to stay strong here. Um, so I'm just trying to bring you some coffee. Would you guys like some? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> when I told you I was going to give you the personification of altruism, you're looking at it right here, y'all. We're at the West End Bakery, and this whole place looks like Godzilla walked all over it. And you guys are still kind of in operation, so tell us what's going on, because as I understand it, this is the only bakery still operating right now and you guys are feeding everybody for free. That's correct. Um, from day one, we, um, we looked at the product we had on hand. We were gearing up for a busy weekend here. This is our big season here in Asheville. So we had a lot of product on hand. So from day one, as soon as we lost power, we, used, we were lucky to have a gas deck oven that didn't need any electricity. We used candlelight. Our, our son has a business, wow. Patrick Oh Moore yeah, handmade. yeah. Yeah, he, he was using some of our yeah. beeswax to make his candles, that's so right. So Patrick Moore supplied us with some candles. We used candlelight and our gas deck oven and we made a few thousand baked goods that first day. Um, we gave those out on the patio. We used all of the food that we could so we wouldn't spoil anything to make meals. We got some donations from Mountain Foods to, to make our meals last longer. So we had cases of produce and our leftover stuff that wouldn't spoil and we fed 300 people a day every single day for five days. Um, we're at the point where they asked us to pivot. The need seemed to be bread. Um, more and more people in the community are supplying hot meals, but uh, th they're meals where you have to go to them and it's one meal and not food you can take home. We were told that like people are getting donations, awesome donations, of peanut butter, but no one has bread, no one has crackers. So, uh, so we're pivoting all of our energy into the bread making since we're actually able to do so. Um, and we're making sure that it gets distributed to the communities that need it. Um, we've, we're working with Bountiful Cities, we're working with P-Dub's Garage has been influential. We've also uh, 12 Baskets Asheville Poverty Initiative and the West Village Market to help us distribute it to who needs it, like Diva Review, Shiloh, all the communities that don't have public transit, don't have cash on hand, and are stuck in place needing food. Uh, each loaf of bread serves about like 15 sandwiches, so that's really going a lot further than just a boxed meal where you have to go to it, eat it right there, there's nothing to take home. And you guys aren't getting any help from anybody in terms of um, financial support. I mean, you're, you're funding all of this out of your own pocket, and I gotta believe that the coffers are getting a little bit low right now. Donnie, you said you guys try to reach out to any kind of assistance you can get from the federal level and otherwise, and big goose egg out there. So, I mean, unfortunately. Hey, by the way, this isn't JFK or RFK Jr. <laughs> he lost his voice. He lost his voice recently by, I mean, he normally doesn't sound like this, but. No, no, I don't look like this either. Um, but uh, unfortunately, there's the, the politics of everything. We don't want to trash talk. Please, we think everyone and everything, I don't care where it comes from. You are doing great work, God bless you. But the politics, the democracy, the political freaking bull crap that you have to go through to feed people, there's nobody that's willing to pull the trigger to get this product in. So every bit of product, and we brought in two semi trucks full of food in here, one coming from Cisco, one coming from the party. They brought it in out of the goodness of their hearts, but it was chips. 
water Gatorade. This isn't feeding long term. I got you. So we have literally the only, we have gotten zero government assistance. We've gotten no help or food from the downtown operations, the bigger operations. There are much bigger, much more financially stable businesses out there than we are. Like, we are a small bakery. This is literally a mom and pop operation. Absolutely. We we live in the community that this food is going to. We don't live in a nicer neighborhood. We are not from money. But they are shut down. They're not producing anything. And so bakeries are supposed to support a community. And if we've got it, we feel like we're obligated to stay here until somebody else can take over the range. We want to we wanna go home and sleep so bad if somebody could do it without like if, if you want to take over i'll shut it down tomorrow but until somebody does we got to keep doing we what we're we, doing. we didn't feel good about taking a rest if we were <clears> able <throat> to if we were able to produce so we um just just donnie and i with no other help have been producing 200 loaves a day slicing it bagging it and we have been getting some help with distribution, taking it to the people that need it, because we're kind of shot by the end of the day. And this isn't the kind of bread, by the way, y'all, let me just jump in yeah. here. This isn't the bread, the wonder bread that you're gonna get out there that you can sit on the shelf and you can come back a year later and it's still gonna be squishy. No, this is real life food. Yeah, I mean, these are real deal something. chefs. Like these are bags up ready to go out. These were made in the hearth deck oven. And then we've got sandwich loaves too. Um, these get made in the, in the electric ovens now that we got our electric back. And uh, originally we weren't even slicing it, but they were like, you know what, we need, we need it sliced to go further so that way kids can make themselves a sandwich without needing to help slicing it. Stuff. Folks, bottom line, look, I know that <clears throat> lately, as of late, I've been coming to a lot of you right now, almost begging you for whatever donations you can get. And the reason I feel I have to do it is because nobody's helping out this community. By and large, nobody in the prostitute media is telling you about the freaking disaster that's happening right now. And they're not telling you about the selfless people like my friends right here, Donnie and Stephanie, who are doing this with no thought of reward with no thought of how they benefit. And frankly, they're losing their shirts on this. So I'm gonna ask all of you right now, there's a GoFundMe that's kicking. I'm gonna ask everybody to dig deep and tell everybody you know about what's going on here. Because as you've known in the videos that I've produced as of late, we can't rely on anybody but me and you and people like these to get ourselves squared away. I basically had to twist their arm to find out the full extent of how hard they're suffering right now. No sleep, sleeping in this place practically. Actually, literally, right? Yeah, Donnie is sleeping here. Yeah, actually, quite literally sleeping here. Folks, I'm not even gonna kid you. And I don't care, look, my pride be damned. I mean, I'm gonna ask for your help. Go support them and tell everybody you know the incredible work they're doing. Because if we do this right, <clears throat> if, if people realize what can be done, what a few people, what a couple of people can do, it can, it can be brush fires in the minds of men, as Thomas Jefferson put it. It can let everybody know that you don't have to rely on government, that we can rely on communities. So without my monologue, Stephanie, tell everybody where they can go and give. Uh, we have a GoFundMe account. It's on all of our social media sites and our website, Weston Bakery Asheville. You'll see it on Facebook and Instagram at Weston Bakery. Um, we super appreciate you. Um, we also can receive donations of bread flour, of potable water that's in the gallons. But um, if, you, if it's easier for you to donate directly to funds, we can order through our distribution site, which has finally started coming. Um, we appreciate everything. Thank you. Look, they got electric bills. They got, they're doing everything they can. Donnie's having to sleep here because the security issues are probably growing as the, as the days go by. Mm -hmm. And people are doing all they can just to keep the clothes on their backs. Look, as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna donate, I promise you that. Um, it'll be anonymous, you know. But anyway, we're gonna donate and we're gonna encourage everybody else and we're gonna stay on top of this until we hit that goal. What they're asking for, honestly, is about half of what they actually need. So just keep that in mind. And if anybody knows any wealthy benefactors out there that are willing to put foot to butt and get them funded, by all means, please hit them up. These are fantastic people. And remember, all those videos I did 
All those videos I did about how I feed my chickens and pigs for free, not only do they feed this community at a reasonable price, they feed all the homeless for free and anything that's left over that they can't even give away, it goes to me. And then I feed my pigs, I feed my chickens, and guess what, we gave away three pigs for free last year because of them. This is how you can make this symbiosis work and how we can make this community where it's a self-licking ice cream cone, y'all. We don't need big conglom conglomerations. We don't need all these other things. We just need each other. All right, y'all, Till next time, this is Billy from Perma Pastures Farm. I'm at West End Bakery. We're gonna have all the information listed down below. Till next time, stay alert, stay alive.